Hey, we're back and prepping up a 620 horse LSX 454 to stuff it into a tube chassis missile called the Cheetah. Now, so far, we've bolted on a bunch of accessories and we've put on the motor mounts. Now it's time to turn our attention to this side of the engine. And to put anything besides a stick in a car like this is just, just wrong. Now, since we've already shown you we got three pedals in this thing, you know where we're going with it. So this is what we're going to put in. Now, American Powertrain is well known for putting together complete transmission systems for your project. So they were the perfect choice for something crazy like a Cheetah. And we got everything. Check this out. We got a flywheel. We got the pressure plate. We got the clutch. We got the hydraulic throwout bearing. We have a blowproof bell housing and, of course, that huge Magnum six speed transmission and the white lightning shifter. The first thing to go in is the pilot bearing, then the backing plate for the scatter shield, followed by the flywheel. Now, after you've wiped the flywheel down to remove any kind of protective coating, you're ready to put on the clutch and the pressure plate. An American powertrain makes this easy by not only including all the hardware, but also the clutch alignment tool. The blowproof bell housing or scatter shield goes on next, and it's designed to work with the backing plate to completely envelop the clutch and protect you from shrapnel in case the clutch blows up. If you're going to be driving your car hard, this is a wise thing to invest in, and it's mandatory on most racetracks. The next step is to mount this hydraulic throwout bearing to the transmission using this supplied adapter. This is one of the key elements of a modern clutch system because it completely does away with any mechanical linkage and allows you to push a heavy clutch without wearing your leg muscles out. Once the tranny's prepped, it's just a matter of bolting it to the engine. And this is where having an engine hoist is really nice. Because these big Tremec transmissions are heavy. And that is it. All put together, ready to go in the car. Except for a starter. And we need something with a lot of torque to handle 11 to 1 compression. So we went to Mazir and got one of their True Start LS starters. Now, as you can see, this thing is low profile and is extremely high torque. And mazir has been building starters for race cars for years. So you know this thing's going to handle the heat and the abuse. It's not going to come apart on us. Now it's time to stick the drivetrain in the car. It's kicking out. It's kicking out. And there's no question that the engine is a tight fit in this thing. But believe it or not, there's enough room to get to everything, including the starter.